what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up? So you got to tell back your phone. I know. I heard all the laughing out there. I'm like, gosh, man. <laughs> what's it like being in a room with Derek Wolf? Yeah. It's cool, man. You know, uh, just watching film on him over the years, he's a, he's a beast out there. You know, and I, I love the way he plays. He has that uh, no BS mentality, and uh, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of guy I want to play next to, you know, on the D-line. Darius was talking about how you guys kind of share the leadership role. How do you see the leadership between you guys going, and what do you guys do best as a leadership? Well, uh, you know, Derek's the type of guy, you know, that will, uh, you know, let you know, you know, if you're doing some stuff wrong and, uh, and, and you know, get after you like that type of way. But also, man, he's just he's one of the hardest workers out here, man. He's here every day giving his all, giving his best. And uh, that's the same type of way I am, man. I'm a, I'm a type of guy that tries to lead by example, just by doing the right things, always giving my best, just trying to be a professional and uh, being the best I can be for this team. And uh, those are the, some of the qualities I bring to the team is just doing things right, you know, and uh, making sure that I'm getting the job done. And uh, whatever coaches have to, have to tell me and, uh, and try to coach me up, I'm a very coachable guy. You know, even on, on year 12, you know, I'm still learning new things. And uh, I come with that mentality to try to, uh, with, the open, you know, with the open mind, to learn new techniques and, uh, and different stuff uh, as a D lineman. This is a tough, tough game. You said year 12. How much do you have left in the tank, and how are you a different player now than, say, five years ago? Uh, you know, I, I'm on year 12, but I feel good, man. My body's feel, feeling great. Uh, God has been keeping me strong and keeping me healthy, but I still have that hunger, man. That that uh, that I want to I want to get a ring, you know. I want to win a championship, and that's what keeps me going. Uh, also, my family, you know, uh, playing for my children, for my wife. Uh, those are motivation for me, man. And uh, I think that's what keeps me young, keeping me alive. Is uh, you see, guys, when they get a little older, they start lo losing the love for the game. But for me, man, I still love waking up in the morning, coming out here, hitting hit, uh, hitting old linemen and hitting running backs. That, that that's fun to me. I love that stuff. Uh, being in the same locker room as Kyle and, you know, in the same city. It's really cool, you know, having my little cousin here, Kyle. Uh, it's been a blessing. You know, that, that really helped out, uh, especially making my decision in free agency. Uh, having someone here that's my family, someone that uh, I'm familiar with, you know, it's, it's, it's been great. You know, we're, we're uh, sharpening each other up every day, trying to, to improve each other and, uh, and challenge each other, man, and, and compete with each other. So it's, it's been a blessing. What was your relationship like with Kyle before? I mean, obviously you see him every day now, but what was it? How close were you? How close were the, you know, did you stay in touch or watch him from afar because you're a busy man playing? Yeah, yeah, we've been, we just talk here and there on Twitter, stuff and uh, social media here and there, but uh, Kyle's dad is actually, uh, me and him are a lot closer, you know, because we're kind of a little uh, similar age, you know, but uh, well, I think Kyle was 13 years old my rookie year, you know, so, and now we're freaking uh, working together, you know, but Kyle's uh, is a great kid, you know, is, uh, he's really athletic, you know, strong, and, uh, and he's been holding it down over here, and I'm, I'm uh, blessed to, to work with him. What's it like for you to be in one place so long and everything about how they do things to come to a new place? Uh, for me, man, it's, uh, it's really cool, you know. Um, being in Cincinnati for 11 seasons, uh, that's all I knew, you know, like you said. Is, uh, I knew how we did things there. Uh, but coming here, man, it's, it's been such a, a, a great change, you know, for me. And uh, I'm really enjoying it, man. The way we're working here, uh, I, feel like I'm gonna, I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in, getting stronger than I've ever been. Uh, the weight room staff over here is no joke, you know. Uh, they're doing a great job with me, Coach Luke. And then also with, uh, with Coach Bill, man. He's, uh, he's a heck of a coach, man. You know, he really gets after you. And what I love about Coach Bill is that he has no favorites. You know, he's a, if you're a young guy, if you're an old guy, he's going to tell you how it is. And uh, so that's, I really love it here. And, um, and since you, man, we're kind of like, Always like talking about, oh, I want to, I want to win a playoff game. I want to win a playoff game. But over here, man, we're talking about winning championships, and uh, that's what that's what brought me here. I want to win a championship. You guys are drenched. What exactly were you doing? Before you <laughs> <came here? laughs> no, we just finished working out, man. Uh, like I said, the weight room staff they get after us. We're getting better every day. We're uh, like a wolf, man. He was drenched too, you know. And that, that's how we are. We're over here, uh, and we're wearing these hoodies, you know, just to. Uh, Coach Luke has, has challenged us this year to wear these hoodies so that uh, in the heat of the battle, you know, when when uh, when the fire hits uh, hits a stone, you know, uh, you get a diamond or you get a gem out of it. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to trying to work out there and and uh, and build up the build up our strength and in, in in the heat. The intensity in that D line room with Kolar Wolf. How does it compare to where you were before? Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of similarities because. Uh, we had some some tough dudes on in Cincinnati also, you know, guys like Geno Atkins, one of the best deep three techniques in the nation, you know, uh, and um, 
we have some similarities there with, with type of caliber players. But, uh, you know, I like the intensity that we have here in our room here uh, with Coach Bill, with Big Wolf, with uh, Big Crick. You know, we got a, we got a little veteran group going here, and uh, it's been great uh, working with these guys so far. We're building chemistry in that mini camp and uh, every day out here in these walkthroughs and stuff. So I'm excited to see what we can do, man. Uh, it's, and we got a, a, a nice draft pick, you know, to help us out also. So uh, it's, it's going to be a fun year for the D-line. I'm excited. What are you seeing as far as what the rotation might be, and how is that going to keep you guys fresh over the long haul with that quality? Well, I know with, uh, with D-line, man, uh, being a big guy, being 300 pounds, you know, you got to have a good rotation. And uh, with, the, with the guys that we have, it feels like we'll have a good rotation. But, uh, you know, no one, no one, you can't see that right now, you know, so early in the year. Uh, once we get to OTAs and mini camps and then training camp, then we'll start to see how the chemistry's built and how, how much we're going to be rolling and stuff like that. But it's good to have uh, all these good co competitors because so, we're competing with each other, uh, you know, trying to get each other better. And uh, it's, been, it's been great so far. Well, uh, from what I've seen from last year to this year, and just from hearing guys, you know, and uh, what uh, what uh, been in the locker room talk or whatnot, uh, Adam's been a lot better, man. Just me seeing him right now, he seems like a whole different player than last year. He's healthy. He got that knee brace off. He's uh, moving around, and uh, he had the ACL. I heard uh, last year or so. Um, that it was kind of uh, lingering on, but now he's really strong, and uh, you know we call him like a uh, little wolf. You know he's a, he's a strong guy, a tough dude, and uh, we're excited to see what he can do for us this year. Derek, too, are you, are you nice to rookies? Uh, you know me, I, I I just call them by number until they make the team. So, uh, <laughs> but I uh, I just try to treat them how. Uh, you know how when I was a rookie, you know, uh, veterans used to just make me carry the pads, things like that. But uh, I also like to uh, show them love too. You know, when when I, if they're down and stuff, I try to take them under my wing and uh, just show them ropes and uh, and try to lead by example. But the little uh, hazing here and there, you know, just like carrying pads and stuff like that, I'm all about that. Now, how much do you think you have left in the tank? Uh, man, I feel good, man. I don't know, you know. Uh, I know I, I got at least two years, you know, I signed a two-year deal, so I know I got two good years for y'all, but uh, I feel really good. My body's feel, uh, feeling great, and uh, I'm just going to go as long as uh, the good Lord keeps me strong, and, and as long as I'm playing at a high level, you know, I don't want to go out there, put bad film out there, and uh, I, I feel really good, so, you know, I'm just going to keep taking it uh, one year at a time, and, uh, and I just, you know, keep giving my best, and that's all I can do. What's that? Uh, I'm playing nose guard, you know, it's just the same same thing I've been playing in Cincinnati, man. I'm playing uh, uh, nose guard right now, and uh, and that's what I've been doing for years, and, and that's what I play. It's a little bit different now. You know, it's a 3-4 compared to a 4-3, but uh, it's all the same. I'm, I'm lined up right over the center, and uh, that's what I've been doing, and uh, that's where I make, my, that's where I make my, my money at is right there in the middle of the field. Do you Time do, for a few more guys. Do you do any, if I get it wrong, I apologize, but Haka, do you do any of that? Is, uh, that, is that something you can bring to the well, me personally, I'm, uh, I, you know, being from Samoa and being from the islands, uh, you know, we do the haka, you know, and uh, that's just part of our culture. But uh, I don't know, maybe me and Kyle can get, get the D-line doing a little haka, you know, that'll be fun. But uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm uh, kind of more, I, I love all that, you know, aspect of being a Samoan and, and our culture. But uh, I'm trying to bring uh, to the table just being the best nose guard I can be for this team. You were obviously brought in for a reason. Something was lacking. So you were looked upon as a piece of the puzzle. What, what, what do you bring to this equation that the Broncos needed in your estimation? Well, for me, man, being in the AFC North, uh, it's a really tough uh, run, run, run type of conference, you know. Uh, so and, and being a nose guard over a, over a decade, man, that's, that's what I do, man. I, I like to clog up the middle of the field. I like to fill in those run, uh, those run lanes that uh, were kind of lacking last year. You know, they, they're... Uh, their run average was, was way too high for, for uh, being a great defense, you know, here. So I'm coming in here trying to be a run stopper like I've been doing and, uh, and, and do that uh, to the best of my ability. You said your leadership style is to be by example. Do you, do you expect that you need to be a vocal leader now, or can you continue that uh, just by leading by example on this team? Well, for me, man, I, I like to lead by example, you know, but there's times also where I do have to get vocal, you know. If, if I see someone slacking off or I see 
uh, guys that are, you know, being complacent and stuff like that, you know, that's when I'll step in and be vocal, you know. But most of the time, man, I just try to lead uh, and work hard every day, and, uh, and people see that, and it's contagious, man. If you see someone else freaking 30-year-old out here freaking running around, you know, like a, like a youngster, man, it's contagious, you know. And I just try to lead by, by that way. But if I have to get vocal, you know, I'll get vocal. Did you have an impression of Vance Joseph when he was in Cincinnati that he was destined for a, a role like this? I did, man. I always saw the when I when I first met Coach Joseph back in Cincy. I, there was just something about him that uh, you know he was a real uh, players' coach. You know, like he would take the extra time and sit with you if you needed help. You know, and just uh, he was all about the team. You know, and it wasn't about him; it was about team. And I, I just saw that in him, and I knew that he was you know destined to be you know a, a head coach one day. And I'm blessed and excited to uh, to play for Coach Joseph. A lot of, a lot of players have said he is just brutally honest. Yeah, man, he's real black and white, you know, he's just going to tell you how it is, and, uh, you know, and those are some of the things that I like about him, man, you don't have to yell at someone or, you know, raise your voice to get your point across, he'll just tell you how it is, but those words he says, you know, it's piercing, you know, and it'll hit you, and it just makes you want to play hard, it makes you want to give your best for him. You've had a handful of team meetings so far, what do you think is the most important thing that he's said or done so far? Um, you know, um, the, what I got out of it, man, when I, when I, when I, what I hear from him is, you know, just going out and, and trying to be your best every day. But not only that, just like I said earlier about winning championships, man, that, that's what really got my eye here is, uh, you know, just coming out every day to work. And if you want to if you want to win a championship, you got to you got to act like a champion. You got to practice like a champion and come to work every day like a champion. OK, thank you. Thanks, guys. Much thank love. You.